In the beginning, I never really thought about myself as a creative person. I was never good at painting. I was never good at, you know, at music. Students from early age are used to math being kind of this very dry subject. It's really important to, to put more creativity in teaching mathematics. First of all, to, to make it easier for the students to learn difficult concepts, but also I think it's extremely important to get more creative minds into mathematics. One example of thinking outside the box that I've used is Legos <laughs> to actually show some of the concepts. You learn to think more abstractly and you're now thinking of vectors as objects. I also use uh, simulations and car examples in my control theory class. Basically a project for the students is to design an adaptive cruise control for a self-driving car. Since we can't just go out and drive on a self-driving car, you use a simulation. But what the students have to do is write algorithms that determine exactly how much acceleration or brake to apply. I get that information back into the simulator and I actually draw them on the screen what the car does. You can actually see how this creative thinking evolves in the beginning. There are a lot of questions about how do I do this, how do I do this. As they progress with the project, they learn to be more independent. My definition of creativity is uh, coming up with something that has not been done before. The trick with trying to teach students creatively is so you want to give examples which show what you're teaching, but at the same time you want to keep that abstraction in there to show that the power of what you're learning is that these concepts can be applied in all the other fields.